vile tu tunataka sisi kama watu wa UDA ile tunataka tu round hii atukweki kwa si, si, uh, 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 CRB round hii tunakujia shamba yako kama ukulipa na round hii tutakuja na polisi manake tuko na polisi Rondi tutakuja kuchukua ile kitu uko nayo because serikali sisi ndio serikali sisi ndio UDA mimi ni mtu wa UDA kabisa tunakuja kuchukua kila kitu manake hakuna si, si, at least CRB CRB kitu gani tunaweka record kit, record gani atweki record tunakuja kubeba ile kitu uko nayo manake Serikali lazima ulipe. Ile kitu yenye uko nayo yenye inazalipa hiyo deni hiyo ndio tunakujia. By the law na by the way na namsicheze na, 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 na sisi by the way. Sisi already tushachukua parliament tushachukua um, um, judges actually na kama mnadhani sisi ni wajinga by the way hata kwanza mwenye anaenda tribunal ya wale four wa kwanza ni ule uru alikuwa amekataa kutupatia huyo ndio amesimamia hiyo mwenye sasa venye tulinge hivi tulimchukua tukamweka hapo mutadu kwa sababu kwanza huyo mwenye uru alikataa na by the way kwa nini uru alikuwa amekataa um, tunajiuliza i mean tunajiuliza hata sisi watu wa UDA kwa nini uru alikuwa amekataa um, mtu na mbona yeye ndio mwenye sasa amesimama hiyo tribunal kuleni pesa chukweni na tunajua amwezi lipa tunakupatia 500 wendo kule bia mbili soda mbili tatu alafu tuone kama utalipa within 14 days tutaanza kukutafuta na round hiyo utafutu yoweku kwa CRB round hii ni hata ukitaka passport tunakwambia kwanza hujatulipa passport gani unapata kiti yote ya serikali serikali si ndio tumeshika na 2027 tutarudi ndani tena na na atuombi na tutashika inaitwa tutashika pia uh, parliament uh, judicial judicial tushashika hii yenye mnatugonga kidogo hapa Raila ameanza kutusumbua wakili hapa ya inaitwa IEBC kwa sababu hatuwezi fungua hizo server haki ya Mungu hata mfanye nini tunakataa kabisa amfungui hiyo server tumekataa watu wa UDA sisi mimi nikiwa chairman wao atufungui hiyo server basically what i'm trying to say this is what is going on ndio inaendelea na by the way usikuwa nimemaliza na by the way tutawakanyagia chini tutakanyaga hizo vitu uhuru alikuwa anafanya hapa za kufanya sijui ma overpass bypass sijui ya timu najifanya mkona rights rights my foot i am the president we are the president we take it by the way we are taking it hasa watu hututaki kujua guys what i'm trying to say is that the way i came out najua watu <laughs> people that know me what i'm trying to say is that people that know me here they know that i'm making a, i'm making a fun usikasidisha watu bwana usikasidisha watu babi uh, daddy guru you know where i stand <laughs> i'm just trying to show people where the other mindset is and where we are going and baba is not stupid he even went to a point of saying guys i have been with you 
for a long time. And uh, Mr. Guru, because you're the oldest here, let me just talk to you. Yes. Mr. Guru. Yes. I am a happy Kenyan today. Ask me why. Although on that age issue, it has to be confirmed. I don't know the ages of these others. Eh? Mm. I may not look as, I may look older than uh, maybe it, Nishinda. Nishinda. Nishinda ina wasa vanya ukae mzee kidogo. How do you want me to Guru, a minute. I don't know how many years I don't know how many years I have been in Please have your camera on for you to be admitted into the studio, to the show. Haile Selas, Silas, Silas. Guru, Guru, I told you to withdraw that. Who you see, Muse? I withdraw. There's a lot swag. Nimeona people are making their beards white. I think it's Hata kangu kamoja, hata kangu kamoja yeah. kamitokea hapa, squeeze na kaangalianga tuwili. <laughs> people are making their beards white. I mean they are mustard. So that I think it's in swag. Sasa ukiona guru hivyo. Na siku hivi ukinja na wapi usiita mtu mzee kitakuumania. <laughs> <laughs> but um I, I wanted to say this guys i, I think we, we need to be actually happy other than sad i say this another day and i, I know julia my sister you are here i say this we need to be happy than sad why because for the first time, for the first time in our country, for the first time, we are a Kenyan united. We have the Kikuyus, the Kambas. I mean, I, I'm not a tribal person. We, are the, we have the Kikuyus, we have the Kalenjins, we have the Kambas, we have everyone in this movement. For the longest time, we never had those two tribes that I just mentioned. We never had them when we wanted to fight. And that's, hence, you find Kajakwa going to <laughs> Rigiji, going to, you know, Uko Kikuyu saying, watu wa Mount Kenya, sasa tumefurai kwanza alitupatia more than that. Sisi watu wa Mulima Kenya. Mulima Kenya. Nani aliambia Mulima Kenya ni ya wakikuyu? Mulima Kenya ni ya wakenya. But for the first time, I come to this show and I feel so proud to be Kenyan because you know why? We have Kalenjins in this show. We have Kikuyus in this show. For the first time, Kenya is united and no one is feeling that we are fighting Mlima Kenya or we are fighting Kalenjin land or Kalenjin and Kikuyus have to fight because those are the dominant today when you find someone like ricky ricky g going to talk somewhere like he thinks like kenya is just about kikuyu and Kalenjins. you go back and ask yourself do you really understand that you have a kenya and this thing happened in parliament the other day when People from Turkana started saying, we can represent ourselves and we are Kenyans too. I mean, a minute, no. a minute uh, Kenya with love. Haida Selassie, we need to see you, like see the person. We need to be sure he's on the studio. Ataki kuwa na picha kwa sababu tataka kuwa na uhakika nani ako kwa show. Asante, go on, Kenyan with love. Yes, so, so it, it comes to a point that they, they used to, when I was a kid, there was a time that people were saying, what to a moyali waga on a sema, wana ukifiko kwa na kuliza, uko Kenya kuna endele aje. But this is our country. 
but I am happy, uh, Madam Julia, with all due respect, I'm telling you, I'm happy. And Julia, I know where you come from. Guru, I've been in Nakuru. I went to school in Nakuru. But and when you find people here, even when you see Stone PK here, we are here. And just look at us in this show that come over here. You will see that the tribalism in Kenya is over. We are done with it. Naruto Malia na Kanyaga na Kanyaga hot wire. Malia naenda saizi ana Kanyaga hot wire. Raila na tembea pole pole. Ndio maana alisema leo tulikuwa tumesema na tunangoja na kwa sababu tuliitwa majina mingi. Ndio ameitwa kehe, ameitwa kemodo, ameitwa vitu mingi. So he has to go slowly. But again Right now, it's not Raila talking, it's the people talking. The Bungela Wanainchi is talking. The us that we are here, we are all united because we love our country. I want Julia to live in a good in a good country. I want to go to have a dinner at Julia's place, regardless, Kikuyu, Kamba, what? We are tired of especially this shenanigans of Kikuyus and Kalenjins in the Rift Valley. It's destroying the country and we have to talk it. Julia, please give me one more minute. We have to talk about this. The shenanigans of Kikuyus and Kalenjins in the Rift Valley. That shenanigans is what is making us, the other country, the other tribes feel like we don't belong in Kenya. Yoshi Nanigans Yenu Yarif Valley na Wakikuyu. Yes, whatever happened, Tunajuangas Yuki Nyata Likwana Biam to Tupa Mawe, we know those stories for the people that have been here. And that's what Raila was telling us today. Start educating people, civil education. People need to understand where we come from in this country. The shenanigans of Kikuyus and Rift Valley and Kales with the Rift Valley things, you guys are holding our country from moving on. And we need to stop it. And that is what Raila is saying that this time, we, he, and he even said it, in 2007, when it went bad, people were, and he gave a number of the people that died. That shenanigans was just between Kikuyus and, and, and Kalenjins trying to kick each other out of Rift Valley. In Ukambani, Akuna Mtumoja Likufa. Let's be realistic. In Mandera, Akuna Mtumoja Likufa. Everywhere. Yoshi nani gansi yote likuwa between hapo Rift Valley hapo, wakikuyu na, na nini. Tuache kudanganyana, hii Kenya ni yetu, na itakuja watoto yetu. Lakini sezi tumefunguka macho. And that's what Raila was saying. We said we are not going to, we're not going to talk about it until January 5th, uh, 15th. And he said, I have been here with you guys. We have fought for so long. We have seen generations and Moes and everything. You jinga inendele hapa ya wakikuyu na wakalinjin. Tafadhali, Kenya iko na wakamba, ndio mana tuluapatia tulikuja utukiwa had. Matu, I, I want us to... A minute, Matu. I want us to desist from going that direction. Uh, it becomes so divisive, divisive, and uh, we don't want to use Mutembe TV to talk in terms of tribes. I suggest that we okay. get out of that conversation. Okay, madam, thank you so much. Okay, basically, uh, thank you so thank you for reprimanding me, uh, Julia. Uh, what I'm just trying to say, 
can we all the way now we are all together and we 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 are we are united as a Kenyan as a Kenya can we just forget about politics and bring our country to where it's supposed to be these countries that are suffering as si tumesaidi wana Mungu country yetu hatujui ataenda vita hata hatujui how many tanks we have Russia wamejua wezi I mean wanasumbuana na Ukraine sasa sisi tukianza kupigana watu wakianza kusisid like south and north sudan they seceded and they started their own way we've come close to that can we stop with the politics and love our country please that's all i'm asking mimi yo tu tunauliza mimi hata kama wewe ni mtu wa uda nitakupiga hug as long as uniambie country yetu itakaa vizuri na tutasikizana nikitaka kwenda ld naenda ld vizuri so i'm just asking julia i said i will not do politics i'm not going to do politics but i'm not going to lie i want my country where we are at the time that we are in the world i am a big proponent of not being called a third world country and i hate when people try to call us a third world country we cannot be a third world country anymore and we have to work we have to tushkane sisi wote pamoja and build this country called kenya today i was so happy when morocco beat, beat brazil for the first time the first country of africa to beat brazil in soccer that's something and you get proud to see that and we need to be proud of where we come from what we do the things that we do at tukuku ivinje we need to be able to bring them back home julia what you do what you've learned i want you to bring them back you know bring it to ukambani bring it to you know in kenya what i've done i think i need and even guru i think i've spoken too much i, I just i'm just crying for my country for all of us to love our country and go away from the tribalism the political shenanigans we already know who won and we know ruto had 3.6 endo muulize he got 3.6 million votes and that's why he wants the 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 the, the four to go away so that we don't know exactly what happened but we did the math and we were here julia wacha ni nyamazi hapo my dear sister Someone is correcting you, Masete Maurice. Cameroon beat Brazil. It's, it was Cameroon, not Morocco. Morocco is top of the game. It's I said one Cameroon. And the, it's not the first country to beat Brazil. Brazil was beaten by Nigeria Super Eagles in 1996, Atlanta 1996. And that year, uh, the Super Eagles first beat Argentina in the semifinals, Atlanta 1996. Uh, Olympic soccer and in the finals the Super Eagles beat Brazil so the Super Eagles not only beat they beat both Argentina and Brazil so we have our super African countries and right now Morocco is on the top of the game is top is top in their group match and Senegal is doing equally well so we are expecting to see Morocco and Senegal proceed beyond the top 16 ama aje guru ama nyinyi amfuati soka tunafuata tunafuata asante mbatu for that detailed uh, analysis we appreciate it thank you so much i think it's high time that kenyans will look at issues and, and julia it. julia let me correct myself thank you for correcting me and the person that corrected me i, I meant cameroon sorry yes it's cameroon Cameroon Geoffrey Ruto atawe anapenda kuota. Tumesema Cameroon not Morocco. We are saying Morocco is at the top of the game in their group match. Geoffrey Ruto go back to you. go back to the internet. In the groups Morocco is the top in their group. But Cameroon today beat Brazil. However, Cameroon did not qualify for the top 16. I think we have um we have Morocco and Senegal qualified as the African countries that qualified. 
So, uh, black, maybe, kuna watu tu wana, uh, uh, some people who are born the other day have a problem with history, like black. Let me just ignore black. Now, thank you so much, Kenyan, we love, Nguru, Karibu. I, I want to comment on what uh, Kenyan, I don't know why he has changed these days his name, but it's okay. Uh, what he was uh, alluding to, it is an uncomfortable topic. However, it is a topic that was underlying the BBI. And it is a topic that Kenyans will have to have if you want to build a nation. However bitter or however angry it may be, inevitably we have to, to deal with it. Right now, I don't know whether you are aware that uh, already there are plans to try to bring in Raira Morondinga into the government as a leader of the opposition. It's a concept that seems to have been accepted even from the other side. Mulama was the other day talking about it. Ichungwa was talking about it. But more because I hear the Western powers are also very uncomfortable with the prevailing political environment in Kenya. What we have is uh, like a relative calm, but underlying that is a potentially very destructive uh, environment that can explode anytime, depending on how we behave as Kenyans. Uh, so, so therefore, you can see that there is a, there is a intention to bring inclusion, but this time not in the avenue of hardship, but getting a representation for the nearly 7 million Kenyans or more who voted for Azimio. Because right now, the, according to her, the architecture of our constitution, it is like those people who voted for Azimio do not have a representation inside the government. They have no say in real sense. And this has been our problem. In fact, when we look at it from a deeper sense, and because of how we vote, what Kenyan was talking about is something we can't run away from. It is not possible when you have 51 PSs and 26 come from only two communities out of 44 communities. You, what you do, you put feelings, bad feelings, in some of the pockets of Kenyan society. And these bad feelings are the building blocks to very serious uh, issue. It may not happen now, but even those countries that have failed, they plant seeds that go germinating. You nurture them, and then finally, the worst happens. And I don't think that is the intention of any, any good meaning Kenyan. So that bit, Mr. Kenyan, is a debate that is going on and will go on, however bitter it is, because at the end of the day, I'm sure you would want to live somewhere in Karachuonyo or in Wajia or in Kisauni or in uh, Kadonsweni uh, and everywhere in Kenya, because that is what the constitution says, that you can live anywhere in Kenya. And if that then is the case, then we can't run away from that debate. Asante. Yes, Guru. And that is what the, um, the, I think the BBI was trying to address. I think that that thing of the winner takes it all is what BBI was trying to address. And uh, uh, all the same, there is something I always think, and I stand to be corrected, that... I totally don't believe the common Mwananchi is a tribalist. 
and the evidence is when you go to Nairobi. Really, nobody really cares what you are. Ata kama wanasimu wakiku tunapenda kuongeresha watu kikuyu. Atunanga ubaya. It's just that we have poor communication skills. It's not that we are arrogant. We just suffer from poor communication skills. And uh, we don't speak good English. And uh, so, so we just like to tell Akinandeto, Kuhanatia. Or we tell them in the car. Ata kama oko odrei wage koyo uge. No tarai wage koyo. You know, it's here at Madarao. We just have poor communication skills. But really, I don't see Kenyans as tribalists, and I, even the Kalenjin community or the Kikuyu community, the common Kalenjin person, they are not tribalists. Kenyans live very well together, peacefully, and I don't think I don't think they purpose to do so. But I think the people who take advantage of this situation is the politicians, especially during elections. They come back and remind us that we are tribes, we are different tribes. However, I agree with what Guru is saying, even Deto and everybody else that this needs to be addressed. It is not a quick challenging thing. I mean, the winner takes it all needs to be addressed too. And I think that's what BBI was doing so that everybody feels accepted. I mean, we cannot go on and keep thinking that we can have a Kikuyu, a Kalenjin, a Kikuyu, a Kalenjin. I mean, we can't do that unless we want to have a Southern, a Sudan and a Southern Sudan situation. And I don't think we want to go there. So. I totally agree with you, Guru, and even Kenyan with love. I'm struggling to call him Kenyan with love. I don't know what kind of love is that. Maybe you tell us later. Stone PK, toa maoni. Hapa kuna watu wako na mapenzi mingi. Unaeza wakakwambia hayo ni mapenzi yapi. <laughs> Asante, Julia. Uh, you know, I really get puzzled and... Sometimes I wonder what people are really dwelling on. Watu wanasema tu, tuungane, tuende wapi? Watu gani wanatakiwa kuungana? What kuungana are we talking about? When people di- talk and say, oh, Kenyans must be united, they must be one. When was Kenya divided? <laughs> you know, l- 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 let's stop those tired things. Eh? Kenyans, and Julia is good, you put it very well. Kenyans have no problem with one another. And they are going to sort it out. And let people who are saying, oh, like I'm finding idiotic comments at oh, CG, Nani, Akuja, na watoto wake. Those are nonsensical. I wish Misa was here. Those are nonsense. Maandamano itafanywa. Na itafanywa namna we have always done it. And nobody is going to... Hakuna mtu wanaenda kuwa ama kuuliwa. Any Kenyan who comes and tries to kill or shoot any other, we are tachukuliwa atua in Kana. Kenyans are free to do whatever they want, so long as they are not harming anybody, so long as they are not destroying any property. And now even Kenyans are more mature politically than any other time. So those cowards are Kinamize and all that, eh? they should not tell us those kind of nonsense. Now, when it comes to war, oh, at CG Western powers are scared, Ruto is scared. Watch a Ruto alambe lolo. Let him watch a lambe kile alijitakia mwenyewe. Let nobody come here saying that Raila should be in opposition. In fact, the day Raila accepts that nonsense, tutamuchoma. Eh. Kuchoma doesn't mean burning him physically, but we will burn him from anything political. We will just tell him, go to Bondo, Mze. Carbon, dosasa, ata Nairobi uskuje. The day he accepts anything, semblance of Sijui working with the Ruto. That is what Kenyans are. By the way, and that is on the ground. There is nothing like Sijui handshake, Sijui kusaidia Ruto. Ruto aendeze government yake namna alivyo tarajia kufanya. Kwani, ata kwa Kenya nilizikia wakiuliza, anasema yes, yu uru. Kwani anangapi? Kenyans are asking that. How can you go telling people at Mimi see Kama Uru? That shows you how Kehe one is. All right? And I'm not saying this in bad taste. Kehe meaning is a novice. Yeah? I mean, you can't go comparing yourself with other people. And you are a leader at Mimi see Kama Fulani. You know, remember to go and ask to Kingia secondary school. Those days of Form 1, you know, you go trying to say Missy Kaflani, Namutani, when you were very small kids. That's very mature kind of discussion. So let Ruto, I, 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 I,
it's gonna be very complicated and very difficult. You eat to Sidanganyane, people at your you are being soft that you see Kenya need peace, we need prayers. Kenyans, we don't need prayers. What we need is strength to be able to do what we need to do right. Prayers to Shapata, we've prayed enough. Okay, and our prayers were overcome by Ruto on 15th. Uh, was it 15th that bombers? So now we, we prayers will come second. We will move out, and when we are, we are out in the field, when we will be out in the field is when now we will ask God to help us deal with whatever situation that will arise at the spur of the moment. Okay, so let's not sympathize with Ruto. Let's not sympathize at TCG. We have seven point something million who are not represented. We do not want any other representation of whatever form other than us running the government, the legitimate uh, votes that we got. Akuna njia, akuna jotika tingine, and that's why Baba is very tough. There is no, yeah, there is no, nini, akuna doubt. At oh, we want to see because you know Kenya is not peaceful. Sijui, we have to be one. Sijui, we are not one. And again, Kenyans are ready to split if, if that be if that uh, uh, arises. What would be Asara to split if I ask all these guys here in the panels? What what laws would you have as a Kenyan if you split from others? And what benefit are you getting? So, so, so PK, how would we split? Able to find your hesabu. Let's let's yeah. let's <laughs> how we do share yeah. let's share. Yeah. Okay, to gonna cost cost in the Pigia Baba. Cost. Uh to gonna Nairobi. Majority of Nairobi was in Baba, right? Yeah. yeah. And even we have more members of parliament in Nairobi and more MCS in Nairobi. Yes. Uh then we go to we go to parts of Rift Valley, Upando Masai. Yeah. Now, when you are my Baba Kura, I think about nine hundred thousand, close to one million. And that's a big number because remember, Baba never used to get even more than 100,000 in Mount Kenya region. Imagine he got all the way to close to a million in Mount Kenya region. That was really good. And then uh, we have the whole of Nyanza. I mean, we have almost 90% of Western province. Then we are going all the way to Transoia. map to Naichoraje and Rea PK. Sasa hiyo map inakujanga by default. Wewe unaenda kule unafikiria uta, utafaidika. Just like in the US, you want to go to Jersey, you want to go to Seattle, you want to, you go where you feel kuna good governance and all that. Wale wataenda kwa Sugoi wanakaa Sugoi. It will be free. You move to wherever you want to move and that you feel you have your president. Simple. Human beings don't limit them. They will tessellate. Watatingika hivi na watajiweka kule wana feel okay. Let's not fear those things. Fear of unknown is too much. Okay, simple is that we want our justice back. We want what we got in whatever way, in whatever design, and we are not negotiating. Akuna negotiation. In fact, even if the economy was doing very well, we would still have insisted that the president is not Ruto. You know, people, people, people are using at you, that is not the issue. The issue is you cheated. You you took what was mine. Ata sahi kama angekuja chukue katiba ya nini program ya azimia anza kupatia watu 6565. Tungekata, I mean to badu tungeteta. Because he is not supposed to be the president. That is the underlining word. So these others are very good triggers which are adding fuel. You know, inaongeza mafuta kwa moto. Yeah. So, and like when you call people watatokelezea because they are already mad, they are already annoyed. And it is the, the devil who has gone turned against is those, those uh, UDA guys. That's why everything they are doing is flopping. Stone, at the risk, Stone, at the risk of kutolewa, unajua julia kwa nini analia ibo? Ni kwa sababu wa nogopa atabaki maali hafa, ataki kubaki to kiss his seed. Atabaki kule. <laughs> exactly. Hiyo ndiyo shinda. Let me finish. Hiyo ndiyo shinda tunayo. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Listen, Kenyan. Kenyans, you should learn to migrate. You should learn. If you have land in Central, Ekakumi, acha umeuza, endo kanunue land in Narok. In, in, ama in, in Embu, in Mbere. And you move on. In fact, Kikuyus are the best migrants and the Indians. They develop anywhere. Ukienda huku mdani, huku, huku, 
<laughs> Julia yuko I, I had somebody was rearing goats na anaendanga kuchunga and na ni nchi ya wenyewe I mean <laughs> look at that you know so so let's not be scared Kenya is big it's big una unasahau unasahau kina ndeto ndio the ancestors were the first migrants they used to walk kilometers and kilometers to do trade exactly they own three quarters of yeah. Kenya <laughs> so 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 your your debate ya nini na nini if was come to the was so pika so, ya nichorea map unaona tuko Nairobi we yes. need a capital city na we need a coast tunachora map ina inapitia wapi nichorea Nairobi yote ni azimio okay okay alafu tuchukue ukambani eastern yote ni azimio eastern province Okay then to end uh, Narok to Pitia but then Narok. I can't uh, instead of going to if there is Runa Kuru where Guru is Guru in Nakuru is that to... really important let's not go there yes let's not go there because we are one kuna pali kuna kuna tutandamana tutandamana mpaka dakika ya mwisho guru kwani pia una kwani kwani unaogopa kuwa kwa south and south and kenya pia wewe Unajua moderate wana moderate wana sava sana moderates even if, so <laughs> you see even if we even if we succeed we will still trade with these people kama sisi tutauzia Kenya mzima stima unaona na hiyo ndio itakuwa uchumi yetu kwanza tutakuwa tuta tunauzia bei kali sana wale ambao hawatusupport okay because even from south sudan you can go to north and to katum without any issues as such so you to see is a debate the debate is can we get back what is ours first and can we get out and man and the manner and stop entertaining oh you know kenya needs peace kenya is peaceful and it will be peaceful even during madamano it is what you, guru you have said it will be our consolidative discussion what actually we are supposed to be doing in fact we were supposed to have done this on the day uh, the day that the 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 the, the what, what the judgment came out when mother come did what she did the following day is when we were supposed to tokelezea in millions and decide whether we want to go that way or we want to resist and we would iki tungesha maliza kitambo huyo jamaa hata ange apishwa okay so so we we we, we blundered but it's still not late the guy is, is sweating and asema yeye si uhuru atajua ajui the power of the people the 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 the, 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 the over 70% that is opposing him there is nothing he can do and this is the confidence that we are supposed to have na huyu atakuwa wa kwanza kutimuliwa in africa ile una take flight of flight of fear chup unatoka unaenda but bk unajua wanataka ku contain mzee na kumpatia cheo ya official opposition but raila is raila si amemaliza maneno ya macheo raila is only waiting cha unaweza mpatia labda mpatie akue deputy vice president in the us akue mdogo wa baden amemaliza maneno ya hiyo amekuwa africa I mean, Raila is not after that and he said it it is justice which he has fought in his sunset years that is what he wants to see and he said he better dies while that is happening people should take that to the bank and there is only the young no, guys no, PK, PK, you see you are making people decide people are writing on the section where they are going to be somebody and asema atakuwa kwa baba section mwingine amesema ajui atakuwa wapi jaripigia UDA So now you have made people start deciding where they want to be. Exactly. So they start you start plan B. Unakuwa na plan B. Yeah. Plan B. Where uta migrate mali you belong. Takuwa hivyo. But that is our plan B. Plan A tunaandamana na tukubaliane. Tukitimua huyu jamaa all of you will be back. Itakuwa Kenya moja. Hamna shida. Acha niachia. It's it's it, 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 it's happening. It's coming. It's coming. Okay so Makedi you just found us uh me here I was in a situation I was asking these people how they are dividing this Kenya wananiambia sasa nawauliza capital city ya wengine itakuwa wapi na coast province yao hawaniambi sasa we Makedi tumekukaribisha uh you also need to decide where you are going to be 
That was a discussion by PK. I'm a smell your plan B. Karibu Makia. Alafu Julia, public participant, uh, public participation, nilikuwa na naki cheseka kidogo. Uh, yeah, she's, she's yet to come back. We hope she make it to come back. Uh, so, yes, Maked, we are still deciding. We are talking about this right, declaration about uh, war on President Uhuru, Ruto's government, bra, 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 bra. And according to PK, kuna plan A na plan B. So, wewe kwa kwa plan gani, Maked, karibu? Uh, unajua siju meanzia wapi, lakini PK na kwa na plan mingi. Iyo A na B ni ili ametangaza hapa kuna zingine ya hezi kuambia. Kuambia PK ni insider. Eh, na nimesikia me mention kitu, I think I had forgotten to do this, so I have to do it first of all. Uh, let me see. Uh, introducing, yep. Let me see if it plays. The Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition says it will support a move to set up the Office of Official Opposition Leader, noting that this will strengthen democracy in the country. National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Ishungwa says the move to create the office is welcome, but should not be domiciled in Parliament as proposed in a draft bill seen by NTV. United Democratic Alliance UDA Chairperson Johnson Mudama says it does not make sense that a person whose difference with the winner is just 200,000 votes should be a commoner on the streets. And TV senior political affairs reporter Kennedy Moredi interrogates. The journey to consensus building on a proposed bill to create the office of the official opposition leader has begun in earnest with a team from Azimio One Kenya now tasked to reach out to their Kenya Kwanza colleagues for support. Multiple voices within the Kenya Kwanza outfit are already buying the idea noting it is a good ground to bolster a strong opposition that will check the government. The bill fronted by the leadership of the Azimio One Kenya Coalition, with the blessings of Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka, proposes the setting up of the Office of Official Opposition Leader through introducing Article 92A, which states the leader of opposition shall be the candidate nominated by a political party or coalition political party or coalition of political parties which secures the second greatest number of votes in any concluded presidential election and receives at least 25% of all the members of the National Assembly. The bill also introduces the office of a deputy opposition leader. The deputy leader of opposition shall be a candidate nominated by a political party or coalition political party or coalition of political parties. We have always encouraged bipartisanship in the consideration of any and all business that comes before us in the House. And therefore, if they intend to bring any form of bill uh, that they want a bipartisan approach, we are always willing and ready to engage with anybody and everybody in this country. When President Ruto gave his speech, his maiden speech, after he was inaugurated, one thing he said that he wishes to see a strong opposition being in place. The bill also proposes the setting up of the office of the official opposition within the parliament's precincts where the holder of the office shall have, among other powers, appoint a representative to sit in various select committees, address a special sitting of parliament once every year and any other time. There is absolutely nothing wrong in having a forum for the leader of the opposition to engage with Kenyans. Uh, I, for instance, don't believe that the floor of parliament is where uh, that should happen. Uh, he should have an office somewhere, maybe. Further, the bill proposes that the offices of the opposition leader and his deputy will be funded from the exchequer, solicit funds from donors, and employ staff. Nothing stops any leader. Uh, whether you're in government or in the minority or in the opposition, from soliciting for funds so long as those funds are going towards uh, the interests of the public. But if you want to use an office that you're telling us will be catered for by the exchequer to solicit for funds for your own use or for the use of your political coalition, then I don't think we, the public should be funding you. The United Democratic Alliance Chairperson Johnston Mudama 
says any person who runs for presidency and garners as many votes as Odinga did in the August elections should not be left out in the cold. President Ruto won with 7.2 million uh, votes. Raila received 6.9. Look at that following behind Raila, behind him. Are you telling me that person does not deserve really one to have an office number two to have his car fueled up to be able to reach the 6.9 million Kenyans are you telling me that that person should not have a public addressing system given by the government to reach the 6.9 voters who voted for him we will be doing Injustice to Kenyans. Already, political talk has it that some leaders in both Azimio One Kenya and Kenya Kwanza are in talks, and the bill may be submitted in Parliament next year when the House comes from recess. Kennedy Moret. Apo apo sasa ndiyo tunataka tuanzi maoni fupi fupi tu kisonga. Tupatie public participation na fasi kwanza ama Stone PK unataka ku comment ndio tusonge mbele. Patia public alafu mimi nitakuja. Haya, sawa. So, naona guru amefuga kuku. Uh, Julia unaona hiyo guru ni mkulima hatari. Hebu angalia kwa hiyo screen yake. Mbona yeah. tudanganya hapa ako na hasla fund na kumbe ni mfugaji? Yes, hata I, I saw some fruit trees karibu na nyumba yake. Okay. Guru is doing good but okay. you know in this scenario there are we are kaenda kula nyama. Okay, sawa sawa. Haya, sawa sawa. Public participation karibu. Asante Machiadi, hai Machiadi Julia Santikido. Kenya ni sala. Eh, ninaona tu hiyo mambo ya guru hapo. Sasa na kukumbudi. <laughs> are you getting me? You are getting me. Uko sawa, uko sawa. Endelea. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I remember um, official official opposition. Uh, unajua, I, 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 if it was another, if it was another another government in power, I would not have a problem. But the way I know Hasla, Hasla, akuna kitu yenye ukiona kiota yenye kwanza kwanza ina 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 support. You just know that hiyo ni kitu yenye it has Hasla behind behind the scenes. Na Anything it has Hasla behind the scenes, I agree, is not for the benefit of the Mwanaiti. I can assure you of that. So what uh, Hasla is trying to do through through his uh, Kenya Kwanza people, uh, and of course maybe he has some people in uh, in, in Azimio now he has got them to try and convince Baba in Kia Kwai of his official opposition, is equal situation kama ile enye ilikuwa wakati ya handshake, where by now, the country has no opposition because the opposition now is in bed with the government. So, um, as I think Julia was saying, that um, the West is not comfortable with the situation. Uh, this uh, this uh, calm, it seems to be the calm before the storm. So it's an artificial calm. And uh, it's something that I keep on saying here, that Kenya is a very unstable country. The stability we are seeing and the uh, and the peace is a, is a, a very artificial kind of a calm. Uh, this country is not stable; it's very unstable. And me, I realized that in 2007. 2007 is when I realized this country is very unstable. there are too many. First of all, let's not even talk of pride. Uh, because if you're in a country where it's developed like where you guys are. There is no problem with your trade. Somebody come, uh, okay, whites are the ones who become president most of the time because they are the majority. But a, a minority like Barack Obama could become a president and the black black I think should be less than 20% of the country, of the population and still white people voted for him and other Hispanics voted for him. So the problem with our constitution and the problem with our country is too much power in the president such that it's a do or die. You see me, I have no problem if a Kalenjin is president uh, 
term after term, if things are working, if people have jobs, if the roads are good, I'll not have a problem with Kalenjin being the president for 50 years, I'm 100 years. But you see, the problem with this, our, our country is that um, the president is the, is, is the alpha and the omega, the president is everything. And now, you know, this thing of buying, buying people started with Uhuru. First he bought, uh, and then he, he, he bought the, the MPs to chase away the, the, the people who are supporting uh, Hustler. Now, uh, uh, Hustler has, has perfected that act of buying, buying, buying. You buy the church, you buy the, 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 the parliament, eh, and the legislature, the judiciary. Now you want to buy also the opposition. Those are what kind of a country are we going to be having? My advice to, to Baba is let him not enter into any deal with this guy because it's just like going to bed with the devil or making a deal with the devil. And I know that a has like very unhappy and very, he doesn't know, you know, the, the way he maybe he expected some kind of uproar after he has stolen the election, but there's nothing. So he's really wondering what is cooking behind in the kitchen? What is cooking? What is this guy up to? What is Papa up to? He's too quiet. You know, so if you look at him and especially him, he's very nervous. He's not settled. Because he's wondering what is this guy up to? What is he going to do next? Eh? So far, the method he's trying to use in Ile Ile Yauhuru, that come, we take hands. But now instead of it being a handset, he put official opposition. Uh, I, I give you all the whatever you need to be an official opposition. But now I buy buy some people in your camp as well, so you will not have a voice. And you can see that's what happened when there was the handshake. Baba didn't have a voice. He couldn't speak against the excesses of government. So it's very unfortunate that uh, some people, are, of which it may not be unfortunate, but it might be something which is actually planned in that, because I know uh, um, Hasla is very good at buying. That's why some of these people, maybe they have already been bought in one way or another to come and say that, you know, because you had six point something million uh, voters, so now you need uh, you need, you need uh, to be given some kind of support by the government. You know, there is no government of Hustler which is going to support you to critique itself. I can assure you of that. He just wants you to work Fuko so that now he kills the opposition properly, officially now he killed them with that official post of official opposition, the same way they were killed by handshake. Because if handshake was not there, there were so many excesses. Now, Uhuru sat down and thought that this uh, uh, Baba is really uh, interfering with my plans of what I want to do. So let me shake hands with him and then uh, I can do my thing, have a free reign, do whatever I want. To do. And that's what happened. So, me, my advice to to to, to, to to um, as in here. don't you know? Don't have anything to do with with uh, any hustler. Anything to do with hustler is something which is uh, uh, created to be able to finish you. Because now the only frontier which uh, which uh, hustler has not conquered is, is uh, as in here. That is the only. Uh, of course, he has bought some people from as in here, but he has not conquered Baba. Otherwise, every other uh, every other front is. Okay, I mean, he's, 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 he has put it in the pocket. So he can do his thing. So, you know, and uh, as you have seen, this less than, it's almost 100 days. You have seen he has extensive kind of a plan on how to plunder the nation uh, and uh, all kind of things, which are, uh, you know, money making and corruption. He has an extensive plan, but now there are some which are coming in the future which will cause a lot of uproar. So for him, having put everyone else on his side, bought them. The one thing he's remaining is Baba. So once he puts Baba in check, now he can unleash the big, the big guns. See what he has been doing right now is just small, small time, removing subsidy, uh, launching this uh, whatever police are is lying at his alone, and all these things he has been doing. Uh, they are small time. He has and GMO. He has big time, big time things which, which can cause an uproar. So for him, he, he feels that once he's captured, you know, it was said capture, he has said captured the Pia Baba and anyone who is opposing the government, 
now he's he's uh, ready to go. Now he can bring out the the big bad plans that he has for the nation. But what I always keep on saying, like uh, Mato, Ndeto was keeping on telling us that there's a problem of of tribe of Kuyu and Kalindin and this and the other. Those problems would not be there if the economy is stable and everything is working out. The problem is that too much power which is invested in uh, the presidency. So everybody uh, knows that I'm not going to get anywhere unless my person is, is in the presidency. And that's why there's that of the big tribes. Otherwise, like in states where they can vote for Barack Obama, a minority, because he doesn't have so many powers and he is here he can be impeached. And you know that everything will go on and they will to check the excesses. But as here now, there's nothing like that. Once you're president, you're president. And even the checks and balances we had put, they were slowly being removed. Yeah? They are slowly being removed to the extent that now they are non existent clubs. So Those are judiciary is in the box, DCI is in the box, ODPC is in the box, legislature is in the box, that is in the box. I mean, the guy is all it's just like more it is. It's now and IBC is also in the, it's also going to the box. The guy is now on Moi. You know, the way we used to sing, you know, Moi Niba in Kanu Nibaba Namama. So now you you or whatever uh uh in Baba Namama. That's the kind of a scenario he's creating. And sometimes you have to wake up. But me what I'm saying is this the, um this country is very, very unstable. It's only that uh and the, the West, by the way, they are very much aware. And any war can erupt any time in this country. And you saw it in 2007. Because even uh, even even uh, terrorist groups now, like Al Shabaab, they're no longer bringing their own people to come and uh, do terror attacks. They are just recruiting indigenous Kenyans, just locals too, because there are so many, as I told you, 14 million Kenyans are jobless. Those are young people. From, and our country is 75% with 18 to 35. So imagine that amount of people who are disenfranchised, dispossessed. Uh, a lot of them are very well educated. What do you expect from that? You know, these are the kind of things that brought the uh, problem to Nigeria. Highly educated youth with nothing, extreme poverty. Those are, they ended up joining Boko Haram, uh, joining, you know, all manner of. So it is in our interest, by the way, to move away from this draconian and all-powerful uh, kind of an executive because so that we can repair the economy. Because now, the economy, first of all, right now, the economy is already in tatters. And for sure, uh, once, once uh, uh, Hasla takes over now with the big... Uh, these are just most important things he was telling us. But he has bigger plans of looting. The economy will get even worse. And the work it gets, by the way, the was the more unstable the country becomes because let's say somebody a political figure comes in and decides that or even a, a western country and decides that ah, we don't this person we want power now what happens they decide they're forming militia and that's what happened in DRC. they decide they're forming a, a militia recruiting people there are so many 14 million people let us give them a 200k in your militia militia and then they're armed by some country or no new guns or whatever this country will be destabilized you see and it's gotten to the point where now, as much as Julia, I understand you're saying this is not a good topic of talking about tribalism, but after 207 or Panna, they'll not go to invest anything in a, in a place which is not there. Either they invest in most metropolitan places like Nairobi and Mombasa, or they go and invest wow. Because like during the post-election violence, so many people use and Gemma, they lost their property who are living in diaspora, meaning they were living in areas which I forgot about Rizali. They were living outside their own uh, areas and they are really invested. They, they, now they they don't no longer want to invest outside because they know the kind of scenario. And this scenario is not being brought about by tribe. It is being brought about by the fact that the executive is too powerful. And number two, the economic situation in Kenya is extremely dire. So getting people to recruit to be terrorists, getting people to recruit into a militia is a very easy thing. Because all these people, there, all these 14 million unemployed youth, they are a reservoir. Omekatu, frustrated, you can see when George Akoyo came up, he had quite good support. Where was that support coming from? It's coming from disenfranchised youth, dispossessed youth. Youth are and their parents have spent everything to educate them. And they can't do anything. 
and then so he has like this is another joke and insult after insult to the house like we voted to this guy they can't afford food alitoa alitoa food subsidy akasema is cannot subsidize consumption uru was not mad to subsidize consumption there is no way a, a role of a government is to to provide a, a to be able to subsidize basic commodities when the inflation is too high when the economy has a problem when a subsidy so school fees in your here they were they were doing 50 i think 50% now in january you have to pay that 50% because we are making a fixed subsidy so the subsidy zote zimetolewa fuel subsidy imetolewa you can see how high the fuel na fuel iki sub iki kwa high that means also everything all commodities because they they do use fuel to 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 make them to produce so sir <laughs> you can see it is really self the farmer eh? so what is it? i mean if we just get somebody forget even baba 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 i think he is such a soft hearted person he never wants to to break the country or to do something extreme because i remember is that when hasla was saying in 207 when they were doing negotiation uh, that he had told baba that they take headline stance now akata kabisa with this issue of prime minister so baba was like now uh, let's just compromise to avoid because the country is at stand still and the country has gone into post election violence let's compromise a queer prime minister but you know he uh, has like that guy who like headline stands you know he the same way he was saying that the uh, huru had admitted defeat and wanted to leave the seat to, to to baba and he told and he wanted to slap him the same thing happened in 2007 when when uh, uh, during kofi annan when raila now agreed to go into into prime minister he didn't want that he wanted them to take headline stance back at kibaki back down so that's the kind of a person we are having now in power and number two, we are also having these people who voted for him has so called hustlers who are now realizing the kind of a person who they voted in has doesn't have a, an iota of their interest at heart and this disenfranchised people like can assure you nivile too or may cause somebody to galvanize them to organize them this whole they can decolonize this country but hmm? this country can become very and me i always keep on saying and the people who realize majority of them you to seven it took some people love to realize this country is very unstable and they moved out now from from iso diaspora if you are maybe you are you are living in rich if you are living in uh, in in, in uh, katameda or wherever you now this what people are doing you work then you invest back into your own county I'm a metropolitan county to, to secure yourself because the whole country is the majority of the country is poor it's not really about tribe but you see and even when by the way mutabaki tribe you know the people who are doing well in that community will also be victimized eh? that one happens yeah you are victim like what has been happening in in, uh, in Nairobi same am eldore where we took people entering into a supermarket and looting and right now you see they have again done the same blunder which they had done before of victimizing for it they made the blunder of uh, the dci people who are in the special branch unit arresting them again they have arrested rashid who is the one who cleared problem in isi pangani area which was very extreme now if the bad because police were mesema if you are not going to let us do our job eh the dpp office is not working you can see now how many people have been released including including ikesi akohen the case has been thrown out and there are very many others i'm sure maybe at that the <laughs> the situation is dire let me tell you because now thieves were merudi by the way were merudi were merudi kabisa only that nowadays women are small small they are now in matter today they are hijacking matter so police were mesema <laughs> you have arrested rashid and now let's leave let, let's let you do the job because you won't let us do the job for dpp office is not working dpi office is not working courts are not working so you don't have to shoot to kill people who are who are killing people fine let's do it your way who is suffering if you ask who are going to suffer because now i'm answer to and let me tell you within one month to i will be back to square one hmm? of this people. because now this the end and at the one in Nigeria residential area wanaipa tu lies tangurashi that we are hmm? so <laughs> nani has no clue so called hustler he has no clue what he's doing he's confused he is busy thinking of how to loot he, the country is here he needs to run it he's just doing things haphazardly and you have even had him saying that some of these 
uh, statements which his DSS are making are not from him. They are not consulting. That's a how. Eh? So you want to tell me and Moses Kure is going to make a declaration about Jemu at Sinakuta. You don't know. Hmm? He knows and he's the one who even told them to say those things. But now he has seen backlash from the public and the Sasa. He's like, these people are the ones who are going to talk without consulting them. My DSS. Eh? So let me tell you, Kenyans, me, I don't know what will happen, but Mumbai official opposition out. Nothing like official opposition, nothing like working with anything to do with Hustler. Anything which has any cooperation between Hustler and, I mean, uh, Kenya Kwanza, aka Hustler group, and uh, Azimio, just know that is a trap. And we, we are the ones who will suffer as the citizens. We are the ones who will suffer. So, hey, Baba, Akitoka Kwa Pizza, Ama Akimezwa, in the name of official opposition, we are doomed. And we are doomed on both sides because we are doomed that we support Nakulu and the government, Napia, each side in Guinea, the government, the, the country is now going into a, a state of anarchy, whereby criminals are ruling, cartels are ruling, uh, uh, criminal groups are, are ruling the place, and then eventually it will morph into something bigger because what we attack at that big cake, there are people who are like that cake is, we want now the cake, we don't, we just be a criminal enterprise. We want to go into power. So they form militias. That's how all these countries ended up down the drain at the DRC and the others you see. They ended up down the drain because of a situation like what you are having. So me, my 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 position as someone who's in Azimio, nothing like official opposition, nothing like going to bed with with the Kenya Kwanza or Hasla. The Hasla support you supporting us. You know that guy, he cannot support anything. He cannot support anything. If you see him supporting something, it's something which is going to back him up. He's an extremist. Eh? And he's very vengeful. Because of what happened in 207. 20 years down the line, almost 20 years down the line. He cannot. He's someone who doesn't forget. He's someone who is out to revenge your sin for yourself. All the people in Yolkwana Chita, they're all now in trouble. So please, as in you, let's not move into members of official opposition. We don't need to be officially recognized. We don't need any kind of facilitation. Uh, Baba already made a mistake in, 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 uh, by handshaking with Uru, that's what it means. We are not now going to bet again with a fake government which is illegitimate and it stole the election and then now they are the ones who are coming to tell us and let's make you official opposition and give you all the facts. We don't need facts. What we need is change in this country. Thank you. Aya, uh, official, official, opposi official opposition umesema utaki yo kiti. Kwanza, Julia naona unainuwa mkono. Lakini ataka kuliza public participation hapa. Alipata mkopo wake kutoka kwa hasla funda ama bado hujapokea. Hey, I, first of all, I applied. I applied, I applied, but I didn't get even a single cent. So I was like, let me change my pin. Because they had given them my MPSA pin. And I was like, Maybe there are some people who may hack into their database. I love to my numbers. I want to know pin when they were, were withdrew from your. From no, your uli, uli, patiwa, uli patiwa limit yanga, una, una, una qualify limit ya pesa ngapi? Si, ya kuanza ni for sota, no? <sighs> it's operating like an ini. It's operating like this mobile loan app whereby unaenda unachupa 500. Ukirudisha, wana kongeza inakuwa limit ni, ni a K. Ukirudisha 1K na kuwa 1500. Ukirudisha 15 na kuwa tu wanongeza by 55. Five, five, so, and it's 14 days. And, and the mobile loan app, they actually 30 days. Some of, most of them, I think, are 30 days. So, wanafanya tu kama, there's no difference between them and, uh, and after to tell me, mambo na hizi zingine because those ones are 30 days. So, there's this work with 14 days. Huh? The, the rest are 30 days. But this one is, is 15. 14 days now, kitaka kulipa already wa, wa anze kukuongezea penalty na, na, na I don't know, they, I think they, they may even be able to withdraw your name. But these guys I know, they're going to be very high lucky because when you may see everything yenye yako, ata wamepata details kutoka kiare, if you own anything, yyo pesa yao kutoroka na wanakujia. They won't be like a bank ama like other, in any other institutions in which you borrow without collateral. They have all your details. Sasa na, na assume mkenya ambaye alikuwa saidiwe na hii pesa ni mkenya ambaye anaitwa hasla hajiwezi. Eh, 
wakikosa kabisa kitu ya kukujia watakukujia ama watafanya nini because kama hauna kitu hauna ukishindwa kulipa umeshindwa kulipa Julio kwanza ngoja ngoja mato kidogo Julio alikuwa sijua na swali ama nini alafu nje kwako Julio una swali ama nini uh, I just wanted to comment uh, okay I didn't know that part public participation that at kwanza upate 500 bob alafu siji ulipe okay nipate 500 bob nikafanye nini 500 bob hiyo nikuja nilipe i mean nika invest wapi 500 bob so that i have some money i can pay i have invested i've made some profit so i've made some profit i come and pay back i mean i don't know that thing okay thank you so much public participation that was good information i wanted to say she you gave really good uh your analysis was good i think i have not been seen that kind of analysis uh, okay i've seen part of it but i now want to agree with you that um, the description you gave about ruto he's an avengeful man he wanted power to come and loot the country because he used so much money in his campaign and he also want power i think he's competing against the the, the kenyatta's family he he ha- that is his vengeful mission he wants to be equal to the kenyatta's family that is one so he doesn't know how to run a country and he's not planning to run the country he's he was planning to loot the country okay but now things are so hard on his side so what next so i agree with you that things are really bad and my conclusion from your discussion is that um when uhuru got together with um ruto because of the hague thing i i think uhuru must have thought that he solved the issues of rift valley the crisis in rift valley about mashamba nani nani and what the kikuyus used to go through in the hands of moy but uhuru forgot that the kikuyus who were killed and suffered in the hands of moy i don't think it was a tribal thing public participation i stand to be corrected i think it was well orchestrated by the government by the sitting government they planned it all and they paid thugs and hooligans just like 2007 yes we had a post election crisis but the killings were actually well planned again it is not that mutu alishoka kwa nyumba yake akasema wacha nikauwe jirani yangu i think those killings were well planned so uhuru vying with for presidency with ruto that did not solve that problem and we have not addressed such problems and the problem is not even kenyans as being tribes ama wakikuyu wakali wajaluo the problem is the kind of a government we have and their integrity i mean do they follow the law or do they work under the constitution that's the question now you compared with the us that's what i want to agree with now the us whether you are black or white or blue or green people here really pursue to follow their law to obey the law so that is why in this country it really doesn't matter so much who is in power because for example some of us here we can call us immigrants we we don't me i can tell makiadi i don't feel discriminated in any way i don't i mean i i have not felt it at all i have not felt it at all even my kids have not felt it i don't think they feel it because they got the same colleges and they access the same i mean i don't feel discriminated in any way i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't feel discriminated why because these people pursue to follow the law i mean they pursue to do that whether they are white or black they do that that's the difference you having in kenya so it is not the issue of kikuyu kalenji law it is who is in power do they follow the law the other thing you have said very well is that the economic status of kenya now how do we get out of that status if we have the right government in place that addresses the needs of the people that that looks at providing the infrastructure that kenyans need to get from where they are having the right schools i mean providing health services is this government willing to do that no you gave us a good answer the intention was to get power to amass wealth and to avenge they are on an avengeful mission which is a recipe for chaos and that is where i mean kenya is in another state where 
I don't know what. Asante Makiadi. Only on the 21st on what public participation has said, her, she really gave us a very good view about the Kenyan situation. Asante public participation, Asante Makiadi. Ah, yeah. Uh, Mato. <clears throat> public. Munaniskia. Uh, uh, pu pu public pa participation. <clears throat> you, you, you're, you're a very eloquent, smart lady. And uh, I'm to And i to watu. Ujaribu kuchukua yukitu. Yukitu inaitua... Hmm. Ikitu inyo nasema. Kuzi nimesiki ukisema. Ati uli apply sijui. Kamu ulichukua, kamu ulichukua sawa. Lipa numalizane na unutokane na Ujaribu kuchukua yukitu. Here's the thing. The, the reason I'm telling you is because na mtu yote ananisikiza. There's never been money given by the government. And the government pays by its security systems. Kama mulisikia gashagwa leo, alikuwa akiongea. Akiongea uko, uko, I think he was Makongen in, in, in Central. I'm just begging, like I've told even my friends and my family members. Mimi Harry uombe familia yako amu wende hiyo CRB utapoteza kila kitu kona kwanza ukichukua hiyo 500 tu by the way, public pa, pa, public participation ni kuulize 500 unafanya ngani na 500 kwa siku moja no mato i was just trying to, to, to look at to see whether it was so tukachukua but ni ile nilikuwa tu ninatarifu kuona kama ni ukweli that he kitu inawa kama what how does it work that's all i was i wasn't going there to take it alone i was just testing it kuona if it's working and what the procedure is for yeah and, and please advise our people not to take it kama wataki kujingiza kwa shida manake itakuwa shida na kwambia and i'm seeing it here na nitarudi tena kusema this thing will go to a place where that you want to get a passport or an ID. And then you owe the government and you will not be able to get an ID because they will tell you that you don't. You have never paid, I mean, you have not paid up. That's what I'm trying to tell people that, especially Kwanza Ku. When a den in a government, you'd rather have a den in a mimi. I'm a den in a CRB than having a debt with the government. When you have a debt with the government, I don't want to say the name. Kuna kitu nge sema. Lakini, wamekushika ivi. They can use that against you. You don't want to owe the government anything. And you should never have to owe the government anything because you know what? That's actually your tax. And you're a taxpayer. And that government is there because you, you pay your taxes. And I, Richie, sorry. I will still say this again. We don't have rulers. We have public servants. And those public servants, when you say you are a public servant, is somebody that services you because you've paid them. So to watch a Kwanza, we need to change this, and I'm fighting for this. Richard. I think I'm going to start something to start educating people to understand what public service is, what public service is. Public service, these guys, you're paying them. And if you want to experiment, let's all stop paying taxes to watch it. See how many atabaki pale. Now when you atabaki, those are the real public service people that we need 
on power. Because most of us are telling us to call them Washimiwa. They want you to do a wanakujo wa kusome wa kuambio wezi nyongele shaibi zdui nini nini zdui wendo fanyiwe nini but that's on your money and that's on your public service person that is supposed to be. I want to educate people on civil service and people to understand what public service is. Public service is where you can actually not bodyguard you can go. And I'm saying I have being in the same airport with with one person called Bernie Sanders, I did not even know it was Bernie Sanders. Yeah, look at me. Kau ko mi mi nambiwa ah we umunon ule nani wonde ni Bernie Sanders, and we flew economy together. Lakini ya we nyu apa muna wa kama VIP ya nakuja na kukelelesha na kuambiozi nyongelesha nini nwendo na mlipia kila kitu. Guys, Kenyans, wacheni kuchukua watu wa kuatua kubwa hivyo. Nyindo muna waribu. That's all I'm saying. A, a, a public participant, don't take that thing. Usichukue. Ita, ita kuingiza kwa shida. Ata kama uliapply, usichukue kitu. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Machiadi, can I answer Julie before I forget? Okay. Yeah. So, so Julie, um, unajua the, 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 the issue of Rift Valley and Kisuyu's versus Kalenjin has been there. It is something that has been long running. Eh? Uh, as we all know, when we came from from uh, from the colonial rule in 1963, what happened before was that uh, our people, particularly for Mount Kenya region, the Highlands region, they were they, their chambers were taken by the British, so they were forced out of their their, their chambers and they were put into concentration camps. So what used to happen is that they go in the evening, they go back to concentration camp. Uh, and then they go and slim at the samba for them two weeks, they are second their samba. So at uh, at uh, independence, so they were custodians of these chambers. And unfortunately, he gave out those chambers large huge tracts of land to his friends and his family who still own those chambers today. So uh, what happened now was that he had to take care of those uh, those people who are supposed to be taken back their chamber. So he decided let him take them, they form groups, then he takes them to the valley, he takes them to Mpeketoni and other settlements in. So uh, uh, in fact, uh, many of those chambers who are in reality at Mukupewa, ya mpeketoni inajua walipewa. But kama ya Rishivali walinunua in, in ranching, si walikuwa na yututa ranching group kama something. Inyo mnaenda mnanunua, like that. So, since they already had owners at those chambers, so you had to buy. So, now, when Moi came in, first of all, Moi had issues with the Kuyus because they, they didn't want him to take over the president and the rest. They didn't want him to take over, so he had issues with them. So, uh, the, the uh, Kalenjins now having entered into power, uh, you, the same way we have nowadays, that Mutuyangu, like if uh, I'm a Kikuyu and a Kikuyu is president, I feel now I can dominate the other, even if I'm not really in the one who is in power, but my tribe person is in power. So they started being that animosity between the Kikuyu and the, and the Kalenjins. The issue which uh, was now bringing clashes was that because the Kuyus in Iwengi na wanaza sana, they'll get members of parliament who are the Kuyus. Na sasa, nani kia haka kikio. So what he does is that he takes electoral cycle and a later violence. Wanakua displaced. Yeah, wanakua displaced, wanakua confused so they can't vote. So that was a tactic ya ku suppress. Inaitan kwa voter suppression. Voter suppression, mtu wanafuja na leta kukikeo so that sasa you can't vote. So, 
it ends up being a, a, a local person or, or, a, or, a, or a challenging person who is getting the seat. And they also can't vote for what some of my people who are, who are running against him. Uh, now, here are 207, well, it was planned. It was very planned, it was spontaneous. Others, maybe two more of the first spontaneous numbers, but this one was well planned. Uh, and uh, and this thing, uh, what I can say about this particular case is that Nani wants to give false sense of security as well. That to Kopamoja. There's no Kopamoja. That guy is somebody who, neither I have studied him and him a study stroke at him. That person is a person who doesn't change his mind. If he sees you as a friend, he's very loyal at a great In fact, you know what you know, Kopa government yake ni marafiki yake tu wale wenye walim support but yake for example is very loyal but here if he has a negative attitude towards Kiyama he sees you as an enemy hakuna kitu cha bad and that's the same way tangu 207 is still holding graduate papa mpaka wa leo because baba alimputa ali kazi kwa ile kwa alikuwa anaiba fertilizer na mahindi kwa, kwa kwa ministry of agriculture na tena he takes this badly that Baba and Gapon had been stunned in 207, or the poor well in Gia Serikali 207. No, no. So that guy, Hakona Graj in Baka for Moe's family, because eh, after 207, Moe's family now started being hostile to him, of which uh, Moe's family was supporting Kibaki. And then because they were supporting Kibaki, um, eh, the, the, the Kalenjin youth were kind of Kakakata, his mom bears, and all that. So you don't expect him to Munyama Kulea. When the Ufania Mabaya was a Babu Hajak support, Hajak support Sayako, we expect that Yataka welcoming to you. So that's why the guy, the family, the Moy family fell out with him. So now he has graduated Moy family, I'm a mixture of Mekoka for power. Now Uhuru, because Uhuru didn't support him, Makuru Tisam Kono, he has graduated him, he has graduated Raila. What I'm saying is there is a problem with that because you know this country is run by few, few, few families. These are families who are here, few, few families and they are people. Sasa ukianza ku hunt down eh, uhuru family, you are trying to destroy them, you are trying to bring them down. Moi family, you are trying to bring them down. Raila and many others, kwa sababu wakona a lot of quite a few enemies of which doesn't want to turn them into friends and raka to revenge. Those people, they can also decide that enough is enough. We are not going to put up with this guy who came the other day to come and ensure us that we are recruiting militia and we are going to arm them and we are going to feed them. And we are going to do everything to remove this guy out of power. Can you imagine the kind of a chaos that can bring? So when you see somebody like uh, like wise leaders, Kibaki and Uru and the others, they don't start that thing of, of, of uh, enmity. Because when you are and you are having an enmity with a group of people, I'm a, a big family, you know those people, they have resources, they have connections abroad, they want a letter arms. Eh? Then they start a militia group, Yakukutawa, because even then they are not happy in our idea, their economic uh, uh, prospects and your political prospects, what they had, uh, police, Wakuachunga, and all these things, they thought it's their right. So this country actually are uh, depreciative of something very bad, because took on a very large number. And I said here sometimes that, come here in Nairobi, if you're not living in slums, you just know that you are in that first percent. Sixty-five percent of residents of Nairobi live in slums. So, sir, these people, if where they afford unga, two hundred and thirty people, where they afford unga, these people they cannot afford to take their kids to school to a subsidy in Metolewa. These people they cannot afford to eat well. They cannot afford to take their kids to school. And there's sixty-five percent. Una fikiria sisi sixty-five percent when you are slum, we live we will live in peace. We will not. We will have had pain. Now, in a post-election violence, what all what it is to, uh, to educate us is that it's very dangerous to be living in a society whereby, where you, you are the only person who is doing well out of 100,000 people. Now, may see like I'm living here and everybody around me, 100,000 people around me are ex- living in extreme poverty. Ile siku enye chute itatokea, watakuja kunichomea nyumba yangu. Kama what was happening in the slum, unasikia mjalua meingia kwa nyumba ya msikuyo, Unasikia siku waters they have taken over. Na wana chukua na pamoja na bitu zako, whatever was there. Ama my neighbor who is chukua na kuja na chukua ngombe yangu. And there is nothing, there is no record. Eh? That kind of anarchy, you see. So, for me, I think the main thing which even Raila should follow as an official opposition, ni mambo economy. Because the majority of Kenyans are poor. 
Majority of 65% of Nairobian South are in slum. That's why we should not afford hunger. We should not afford food. Sini mimi wata kujia. Wata kujia kuni kaja. Wata kujia kuni idia semu. Wata kujia ku. Eh? So, Nani needs to have that point very clearly. That where we are going is very dangerous. Whereby it's only two people who can afford to take their kids to school. Majority of the people can't afford this. Majority of the people always afford chakula mzuri. It's a very dangerous kind of an environment. And never say that it's tribal. It's not tribalism. But Babu, if you are living, if you see cosmopolitan areas, some are situated for different trades. And we are all living okay. At least we can afford basic things. We can afford education. Our kids, we, we can afford to, to get a, you know, enter into a business. If they can get employed. We'll not have a problem. At a kama ni kona to try being a stipendi up next to me. I'll have no problem. Easy problems, what are they are because of poor economy and too much extreme poverty in Kikang. And that's what Baba should focus on. Yanyatuneza fanya that we stop this uh, removal of subsidies and extreme looting. Because the looting do you may fanya to make up a lien to Kwasai. It is not for this looting, say, the countries who are with us and I think are for their very far. But for me, I feel that it's very important subsidies the road. Because without these subsidies, it's us. As the middle class in it, no, no, we can afford that. I take a 500 to afford. My friend, you're not be eating in any Ugalia in your pocket. You're going to 500. Na, you are surrounded all over by people who live in slums who cannot afford. What are you going to And that's what happened in 2007. Walingia, walingia all over those big, big houses and they burnt them and they burnt the churches and stuff like that. So, Baba needs to focus on that. I don't know if you have the official opposition. The other even it doesn't matter any because after or even those terrorists they can be compromised. Eh? But what we need is checks and balances for for, for <laughs> the kind of things these people are doing. Now it's a mechanic that you cannot remove because the subsidy. subsidy is very important and that is the role of the government. Akuna mtu manyaneza sema apa we don't owe our citizens a subsidy. You owe the, the citizens a subsidy and that's why we are paying tax. So that we can be able, and that's what even Western countries do. When I pay a welfare, all the work we have to do is so that we can get our children to school. I mean, we can get our children to school. We can get our children You think why do they give welfare? So that they can at least be able to contain them, or they have a house, they have somewhere to live, they have food, so that we can get our children to school. So that if we decide to make this country a country whereby uh, 65% of the population, to say, come in Nairobi, where is the affordability? Where is the afford your 230 ya kununua unga? Where, what are we doing? Farmers ndiyo hao wamekua displaced. In fact, hii mambo ya maindi, it should be, in fact, nani hao watu tuwa tuwa orifali tuwe nyo wale mpotia. They need to come out strongly. And if you think that people don't have power, honor the way nani is talking now at the Furia. He has changed soon. Amesema sasa, and the court also has stopped the, 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 the nini bringing in, the bringing in that means. Because it's a ribu economy. What will all those farmers do when you work on a mahindi? Where will they take their meat? Eh? And it's not only them. Kunot when you grow mahindi na wheat and so many things commercially. Eh? They can't export. So what will they do? That's destroying a whole economy. Eh? So nani antaka na kuwe focus baba na ko aji aji align na wale watu yenye they have issues because I know that like Rich Valley leaders now wameza kona the two colors of this guy. And the people, they are waking up to realize this guy is not on our side as much as Nimitia Trader. So align with those ones. I remember on an official opposition. That's a lot of nonsense which is supposed to call you. Ikate makuta yako na ikuweka kwa box. And once now, Baba has been in the box. Who knows he's going to come up next to the opposition? Because Baba wants that, wants that position now is vacant. I can assure you with the extreme conditions which are in this country. Kuna watu yenye wataka map. And even this big family is now he's fighting. They will come up and they'll be like, we can't take this guy to stay here for five years. He's too much. So now what do we do? Let's arm some militias. We destabilize the country. We get him out of us. And before he's destabilized, I'm going to be middle class. Eh? So guys, you know, even this member of Rashid being, being, being arrested, Rashid was simply doing his job. Eh? Judiciary was not doing anything. And he's not the first person to kill thieves or kill thugs. Mushuki was killing Mongiki and Julia Yukoapa, and I'm sure you know what was happening that time, you can tell us. Mushuki Akuna Mongiki Ata Moja Manil Alifungwa. They were all shoot to kill, shoot to kill, shoot to kill. Ata Mwili Ekuku in Apatikana. Naye Mwanyo Alienda Kasema. 
within a some function that you will not even see the bodies of your young men who are in this group. Huh? So shoot to kill is, is the only thing which can work in this country because judiciary is funny. ODPP, I find you may want to say that you can go ahead. If a case of a muzunku cannot go anywhere, what do you expect a case of a small person that you nearly could do a case of a person that you could do a case of a person that you could do a case of a person that Where will such a case go? It can't go anywhere. So let them just accept that this country, because the judiciary is not working, ODPP is not working, shoot to kill is the only way to maintain law and order. The easy way is you are metokelezea from Islam since Rashid Ashikwe. Pangani has become very unstable. Flying squad wa meachana. Police wa meachana. Yeah, like, if you cannot allow us to shoot to kill, now it's a crime. Power. Watch out to watch him. To know what you'll do with your ODPP there. We want it to be just free. The justice for yeah, extrajudicial killing, to give an extrajudicial killing, sour. No more, let's do now the judicial to own it. Thieves are having a, a, a party. Very nice thing, because police now appear in a hefi, they've taken back out of Gwenda Jela, for what? For killing, thugs who have been killing, like you kill like 20 people, you even kill police officer, and then me, I cannot kill you as a police officer. Eh? And these people are on drugs, they cannot even reform. They are in gangs. 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 had to take my hand, my matters into his hands. Na hata, eh, eh, even kile yenye ilikuwa Mount Elgon. It was shoot to kill. Haku una kitu ya unapeleko kwa kotini. Kotini gani inye yenye ipanyi. Yenye one case ya murder case. Any murder case in Kenya, it goes for minimum of seven years. Eh? Seven years. Who has seven years to go? Now, you want to win your case. What a case. I'm telling you, you're in a bad place, Kapita. You're in a bad place. Hey. I, I, I'm a, I'm a toweka. Eh, guru will come in Omkono, Stone PK will come in Omkono. So, ni wapati na fasi muonge, then to one kama tunaza uh, tamatisha. Yes, Makiedi, I think uh, it's unfortunate that uh, public participation amenda sababu ni kuwa nataka ku, kutofautiana na yeye juu ya hii mambo ya official opposition uh, position in government. Ukweli ni kwamba hii serikali ya UDA has been unable to move na gari ikikataa ku move kuna njia kadhaa unatumia inashtuliwa PK anajua hiyo unashtua ama unaita watu wanasukuma ili iweze kufanya ile kazi ina inatakikana Yes, I do agree that uh, there are those who have... Uh, Kuro ni kuatilia clutch unashtua kitu. Dio hiyo sasa. Sasa, I know there are those who would want extreme positions, which is also a uh, tactic in politics. But then, the experience that we have in Kenya is that uh, whenever we have um, an official opposition party, like we had in the past... I think Kebaki was once uh, an official opposition uh, party leader. We also had uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. Um, um, I think Jaramogi. I think those governments did much better in terms of oversight. You see, it is possible to fight in the streets, yes. But what extent does it influence how the resources are distributed and used. In the proposed official opposition position, the leader will have the discretion of appointing a person in every one parliamentary committee as a representative to know if it is uh, dams that are being distributed across the country to know why Kisumu has not been given uh, its fair share of uh, dams or Wanjia or uh, Meru or wherever. So, number two, 
it's about the resources. How are the resources being used? Are they being wasted? Are they being stolen? You see, what we have in Kenya right now is a government that has used to move in terms of it has no energy because energy of a government comes from the people. It's the people who drive governments. And because this government is lacking in legitimacy, it has a problem. It is like a vehicle that has uh, no fuel. I'm not surprised that they are the first to embrace that because what they want is at least uh, to create an environment where even investors feel that uh, they can come and put their money. Otherwise, the way the situation is right now in Kenya, I think those who do uh, political risk assessment, they are not giving very good scores on Kenya because of the obtaining uh, economic conditions, they are possible to be exploited or used to foment, you know, uh, constant uh, strife in the streets. And the government is not helping matters because there's not putting any policies to, you know, ameliorate the, the, the kind of suffering that people are going through, lack of food. Now I hear they are going even to t take off the, the subsidy on education. Medical is uh, is uh, medical is killing very many families. They are they are becoming destitute because of uh, a sickness in a family. So all these combined, and the fact that the government does not seem to have an idea of how to go about them, they they they, they create a political environment that is very. Um, Paralias that an investor would not feel very comfortable coming in a country where the suspense nikama kutegana anything can happen anytime okay I think uh, that is the situation where we are and uh, um, therefore, public participation, as much as you may not want that direction, it may have to be the bitter pill. And by the way, to take up that position does not mean you have been uh, swallowed into the government. Far from it. It is about questioning. You are saying you are going to invest two billion in this. Why? Justify. You know. That is what it is about. And um, I think it is also logical that you cannot have somebody who received so many millions of photos just go into the streets and stay there like a nobody it doesn't work like that anywhere in the world maybe we are trying a system that does not work elsewhere where you have a situation where you have a situation that uh, a situation where you you don't engage with the government. Because after all, not unless you are going for the extreme, that means the removal. Mm -hmm. Then you have no other option but to come strong as a, as a, as a, to, come, to come strong to come strong as, 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 as an opposition to cross-check the government. And uh, I think for me, that would be a starting point of trying to 
make everybody participate in governance in this country. There is this misconception that when you fall into the opposition, you are either discarded, useless, and uh, it is a position that you should not be. Unfortunately, that is what is captured in our constitution, that there, there will be the government, governing party, and also there are those who will be the minority. Instead of having minority, it is good to have the official opposition party, which will also be giving us alternative budgets. Okay? And by the way, they can even engineer things from inside. You find the government's bills are not even getting through parliament if they are not of any use to the general public. Because at the end of the day, it's about the people. So let's also be reasonable when we look at these things. I don't think it will be being compromised for Baba to, be, to take up the position of official opposition leader, far from it, uh, I think you would be of much better use at, uh, at that position for now. Thank you. Uh, Sante Guru, uh, Stone PK. Thank you, thank you, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've listened to my brother and Guru. I think, I think Guru kuna vitu zake ana protect hapo. Your property will be safe, Guru. Uh, we are not compromising. Uh, don't worry, utakuwa safe. Um, because you are talking of a very ideal situation, which is true. You know, a situation whereby we go into a competition, you beat me very clearly as per the constitution i admit and we shake hands you have won then of course now then we think of what role i should play having been beaten but guru you are giving a lecture on a stolen government honestly you are you are you are you are, you are, you are discussing of very ideal situation in a very very awkward very wrong rotten situation Somebody steals from you and then you now compromise. I'm telling you. Because what precedents are we setting? That every time we go, then, then let's not have elections, Guru, and those who are you know following Guru. Let's not have elections because there is no need of having elections if at all the tenets of elections shall not be followed that you wait, I steal, then after I steal, I start now wooing whoever have beaten. The thing is, as I said earlier, let Ruto Alambe Iomoto Ameza. Number two, you gave the, the, the example of a car. That's good. For me, if you are not able to drive, get off the wheels, period. Why should I nurse you? Why should I come? Nikustulia gari, kama ujui kuachilia clutch, toka, then I'll drive it. I've done that practically because these days people don't know how to drive gari a gear, most of them. So if Ruto does not know how to run this government, we don't have a school for this time. Kenyans don't need don't have time for him to go to college to learn how to uh, 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 administer uh, Kenya. Number three, things like what Mudama was saying, these are insults. These Kenyans should not even listen to this kind of guy talking this nonsense. That, oh, Ra Raila got so many votes, he needs an office, he needs a car. Look at how cheap these old men are, and, and this man is in a sunset. Look at that reasoning. For him, it's not about Kenyans. It's about Raila Ataendesha. Raila has a car, one of the most expensive bulletproof car, one of the most expensive office. Raila... Raila is not after an office. Raila can meet his people anywhere. How can you cheapen? You cheapen things like that, and we listen to him and start saying in the name of compromising, at Raila apewe kakitu. Banaguru, anytime mutu anasema tafadhali, kafutieni uyo mzee kathagi, 
no 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 let me finish it is as simple as <laughs> that <laughs> no ni mudhama it, i'm saying now i'm on mudhama mudhama said raila atafutiwe ka kitu sijua alifanya nini apewe baba mahali ulipo don't listen to those kehe things those novice statements that baba atafutiwe ofisi adini. baba has everything in fact now i want all baba supporters to come out with annoyance now I'm even inciting now Banarichi that watu wa token na hiyo asira baba anafanywa ni kama mtoto amezaliwa jana ana, yani ana, analilia peremende analilia eh, peremende ya mti lollipop apewe lollipop anyamaze na fanta eh hey, bani that is going too low wa Kenya tutokeleze and tusitoke hapo bila decision there is no cure for this government we don't need to be in opposition let them divide themselves into two uda can divide themselves themselves into two in fact as i keep on saying we are feeling so bad that azimio mp's are now even trying to float that bill that bill should die on arrival it is useless you are being party to a stolen government you don't need to check a stolen government what you need to do is to kutimua your government how can sasa in fact what logic is there you know the government is told they give themselves power and you are there trying to propose that you need an you have already played into their game why don't you let them run the country sit wait for any other year when god or jesus akuje as my mere election zenu then mupite it is we should never do that otherwise we will never correct the ills and evils that kenya election has the best is to let the systems collapse totally let ruto collapse the the, the the government kabisa let it collapse then you to we will rebuild on the right tenets thank you i go go kabla wa unmute na ona kuna domi pale na hiyo mkono ni bato ni bato ngoja kwanza nani ngoja kidogo ngoja kwanza kuguru domi okay ah uh, mimi on the bado na jenga i will build on a uh, Okay. You know it is said uh, keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer. You know why? You can easily know what the enemy is thinking when he's closer. That is exactly the strategy these guys are trying to use. Wacha wachana na opposition leadership By the way, what, 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 okay, I've, I've done a, a, a workers' representation. Kampuni yenye ikona union, legitimate union. They are, wafanyikazi, they are easily handled than ili, ili yenye haina union. I'll give you an example. I don't know, when you were in Kenya, I think, by that time i think it was 28 we strike for 14 days we strike for 14 days hatukwa na union and we should farm ile yenye tuliitisha tulifanywa and one of those things that made it difficult for us to be handled is that they did not have a structure on getting to us all trains zilisimama and they ziligwama for 14 days now let me tell you that uh, 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 guru and those who believe like uh, like you if you want to be handled more easily by ruto is have the, those uh, be in that structure he will handle you very easily because if unakuwa hapa hivi parliament unaongea ana mki mnongenezana hapa hivi anajua mnapanga nini waacha baba akae nje na akae mbali you are talking about, uh, na, na, i think uh, uh, stone pk has said something that is <laughs> that i think uh, i'll add on you see let if at all 
we will not be able to push an opposition to push the opposition way outside the parliament and succeed let kenya collapse and from there we will build it let me tell you something funny with kenya kenya has never solved anything without crisis check check check, 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 check our history we never we never said solve anything without crisis the constitution of kenya came after crisis I mean, the new constitution came after crisis. A section, uh, is it 2A, was changed in crisis. So I don't think, ata kuna watu wanyo walikuwa nasema, oh, eh, nini, if, if uh, eh, the court throws away eh, the, the election, oh, they will be a, a, a constitutional crisis. I will say this. There is no better way of dealing with the hard times, hard issues than crisis. Let us just go into that crisis and things will be sorted. And that is, to me, that's the best way. Lakini kumebelezana yo, si yo opposition leader. Now, what, you know, in the end, they just... By the way, they'll just be taking credit that it's we who put you there. They'll be say, saying that it is we who put you there, so you have no voice. If anything, yeah. these guys are, are, are just professional on turning, turning statements. They'll say, oh, these guys, it will be a to the party, it will be a party, and that is what they'll drive on. You are forgetting that Ruto is an, an orator, he talks. And he's very good at talking, and he knows how to lie, and he will use that as a lie, and he will lie properly. So I, let let us just you remember your position, Wachana. Now let's just push it that way. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Domi. I I think uh, Guru to Kianza Ribato Ribato atutawa imaliza. So no, no, Wacha Makiadi. Just just a second. Okay. Just a second. Uh, nadhani mmenichukua vibaya sababu of course there are many ways of dealing with a problem that uh, the, the the solution is not one uh, and i think uh, what i was alluding to is that this a government has, uh, does not have a kick it's refused to move it's, it's, it doesn't have the the breath in, in it to 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 go to to, to 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 you know to maturity, and therefore they need a kick, and that kick can only come by first of all acknowledging that a huge section of Kenyans are not supporting them and quoting them so that they are able to to get into motion however i do understand your viewpoints it's hurting when somebody steals your goat and then cause you to give you a madagiro or the the hooves <laughs> for soup so but uh, then again if that is the only way to maintain peace and uh, prosperity as you wait for your day, sometimes it is good to compromise. <laughs> because, <laughs> because the alternative, and I don't see how many Kenyans are prepared for the, what you are saying. Going the full hog, I don't see how many. Uh, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, see how many. Uta, uh, utawaona, uh, utawaona guru. Okay, My friend, but, uh, Nja, Uhanga has a way of, of making people, of creating that, um, uh, that crisis. I, I was giving you my side of a, a view of things. Eh? Um, I know there are many who will tell Baba not to even dare. Not to dare and get there. But uh, then again, 
that is I, I believe that is part of the reason why we will be meeting in Kamukoji. Thank you. I I, I think hey, to match up a masa kumi na dakika rubaini na tano. Ten hours forty three minutes. He show Kiran. So I think we've been here for long. I can see we still have a huge uh, view. Uh, uh, viewer base, there are still people who are following us. Kwanzia Saile Tulianza Bakasai. Unajua Guru Lienda uli, nilikuwa na kuona hapa mchana mkiwa na banad, tena nimekuona umerudi hapa sai. Umeenda umelala, umeamka